about the diode. In this chapter, we'll study about the diode and the switching characteristics of the diode. Now, we, we are going to look for the the main objective of this study is to study the switching speed. We will plot the waveform of the switching, like the, how the diode act in the forward bias and reverse bias direction. We will also calculate the reverse delay and the slide delays. Also, try to find the, the diode's reverse bias capacitance. Now, here is the circuit which we are gonna draw. It consists of an pulsating 5 volt uh, plus and 5 volt minus DC voltage, and it has a a register connected it which which uh, applies a constant 5 volt to the diode so when when there is a positive 5 volt the diode d1 is a forward bias and for the other half cycle it's a reverse bias now this is the waveform we obtain the first one is the id1 the current flowing through the diode and the second one is the v and or we have net alias over the circuit so this is the V anode, the voltage at the anode where the there is a diode. And the first one at the top is the forward bias and the reverse bias voltage V1, which is applied to the diode. Now we will set the parameters you know, of the simulations as runtime as 100 nanoseconds and maximum step cycle of 20 nanoseconds. And we will ob observe the rapid transition of the forward bias region and the reverse bias. The we know that when the current flows to the diode, it increases exponentially when it's a forward bias and the reverse bias is extremely small so very negligible current flows when it's a, it's a reverse bias that's why it's used in a switch where it acts as a closed circuit for forward bias and open circuit for reverse bias that's why it's used thank you very much First of all, we will open a new project and we select our folder. We name it is at the diode. Make sure the location is uh, appropriate, correct one. Select the, the analog or mixed signal. Now press OK. Create a blank project. We need blank screen. This will open a schematic page where you want to create a circuit diagram. Now, in order to add component, first of all, we need to add the library files. The library files we can get from the, like an analog, we select, we select the analog in that we select the devices like a capacitor, register, place the register component on the schematic page. Make sure to add eval, add a diode, it's a D1N1418, rotate the diode 90 degrees, place on the schematic page. Now add the source. We need a DC source. So we DC select it, place it as a schematic. Now connect the wires. Make sure all components are connected all together. Connect the two points. The following meshes so that these two connections are correct. Apply the ground, ground to the circuit. We need the zero volt ground. Now save the circuit. We must define the, what the appropriate voltage level we want as a voltage source. So that we Now here we want to have a, to know the switching delays rapid between the forward and the reverse. So we want a DC source which have a pulse. Play the setting like uh, the pulse uh, voltage, 
5 volt negative and 5 volt positive set the parameters now v2 is minus plus volt so this will be the value in which your signal will sweep td of 0.2 micro that's a time delay tr as a 0.1 nanosecond tf as 0.1 nanosecond and now select the pulse width it's 0 0.02 microsecond PER so like PER is 0 0.04 microsecond press ok this will set all the parameters of uh, pulse setting source uh, we need a net alas we need to make a point V anode place on the circuit make a new simulation profile as a name of the diode we need the general settings so how long we want to make it make it slow 100 nanoseconds and the maximum step size of 20 seconds Make sure it's in your time domain transient. Now run the simulation. This will create a piece part naturalist. And now here is the graph. I'm sorry, this is my mistake. Rotate the diode. The anode should be, be there should be in direction of the current. Now again run the simulation. That's the graph. X axis is the time axis. Now we want ID1. That's ID1 current. Now there is a graph of uh, voltage at the anode. Now another graph is of uh, voltage V. The first one is the voltage we are applying. Thank you.